All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash. This is GMS Indianapolis Camp. All right, we're coming to you with another video. Uh, today's topic we're going to be dealing with is uh, the Lord will deliver you out of temptation. Because there's a lot of temptation that Satan brings to brothers' lives. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it could be a woman. It could be a financial situation. It could be... Uh, what else? Uh, even smoking demon. You know what I'm saying? Brothers trying to uh, stop smoking and Satan present a situation where it could be a, a cigarette just laying on the ground, just burning. You know what I'm saying? But when you stay faithful to your how about she not was shy? He'll deliver you out of any situation that you're in, man. See what I'm saying? So we're gonna start off with uh, Sirach. Was it 33 and one? Okay. The book of Sirach, <clears throat> chapter 33 and one. It says, there shall no evil happen upon him that feareth the Lord. He said, there shall no bad times happen unto him that feareth the Lord. Because the scripture tell you that what? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of, of wisdom. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? The Lord will show you how, how to maneuver in a natural life. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you don't fear the Lord, but you're fearing all these idols out here, like Buddha and Allah, and you know what I'm saying? The, the white Jesus Christ and... You know what I'm saying? Just all these false religions, then guess what? You don't have no no wisdom. You're flowing through life being basically retarded. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. It says, but in the temptation, but in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. See, but in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. Hmm. It said again he will deliver him, because why? The, the Lord, like the scriptures say, the Lord uh, knows how to deliver uh, the godly out of temptation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Satan may try to try you with a, a married woman or a situation on your job or you know what I'm saying? Any type of temptation that Satan brings, as long as you stay faithful to your how about she may have a shot, the Lord know how to deliver you out of it. Somebody look at the word temptation. And we ain't talking about the singing group temptation either. <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is the, uh, this is the uh, book of uh, this is First Corinthians ten and thirteen. It says, "There have no temptation taken you, but such as in common to man. But Yahweh is faithful." It says, "Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able?" So the Lord not gonna tempt you with nothing that you can't handle. All right. So when you being tempted, you can't. You know, we always wonder, oh, this is too much, this is too much, I can't take it. But you can take it because the Lord is not going to tip you above your station, pretty much. Like, this, like certain brothers can handle certain temptations that other brothers can't handle. Like, like some brother might be tempted with money, and he can handle that temptation with money because money not nothing to him, all right? Or another brother might be tempted with, with, with women, all right? But he can handle that because, you know, hey, he, he, he know how to deal with women, all right? The Lord going to tempt you not above what you can handle, man. The Lord not gonna put more on you than what you can bear. You see the thing about it though, that the scripture said the Lord uh, uh, tempt no one with evil. See what I'm saying? So, so the Lord don't tempt you. What the Lord allows you, is He allows you to uh, with lust. Yeah, be given over to your own lust and desires. See what I'm saying? It's Satan that it's tempts you. You know what I'm saying? Not the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So we had to. Made that clear because I don't yeah, want nobody to take the brother's yeah, statement the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. It says, but will, but will, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Look, it's levels. It's levels, man. Right? You know, like the brother was just going into, uh, brothers get tempted with their own lust. And it's, it's levels to this, man. Right? And each level you get to, it, it is better. Because he'll tempt you with, with like you said, your, your own fleshly desires and lust. Alright? And then it'll start off with the small things. And then mm -hmm. as you grow, the temptations and, and, and the things will get stronger. You know, the test will get a little bit more harder. All right? Because I'm a, I'm a novice. I'm not going to get uh, 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 
I'm not gonna have the same temp temptations as, as a brother with the, uh, that's been in the truth 12, 13 years. All right, it's gonna be it's different levels, man. All right, so that's why he got to put more on you than you can handle because I can't go through the same things as a, a older brother can go through. All right, I don't. Uh, we still I'm just learning how to different demons are, are stronger. All right, so when you're going to get in this truth, man, he's not gonna put no big old or let no big demon jump, you know, cloud my life or, or, or wear me out. All right, because so, like the brother uh, just said, if you're going through it, that means you can get through it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing too big. If you're going through that situation or whatever it is, you gotta have enough faith to believe that the Lord will get you through. And faith is a big, it plays a big role in that. Right. All right. Yeah. Believing in Yahweh Shem Yahweh plays a big role in that. And when you're getting tempted, you gotta know that the Lord is really testing your faith, seeing if you really believe in what you say. You believe in. That's right. All right. I have a definition of, tempt of temptation. The desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. Mm. <laughs> Read that again. <laughs> the desire to do something, especially, wait, swap it. To, the desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. Right. Right. Desire, urge, itch. <laughs> it's your full scratch. <laughs> Lord, seduction, attraction, draw, pull. Seduction, you get seduced by your own personal lust. That's what those temptations are. Your temptations are your own personal uh, fleshly desires. All right, brother, uh, uh, Kanak went in there a little, a little earlier about uh, brothers getting tempted with cigarettes and women and all these different scenarios. But. The Lord always makes a way out for you. That's right. All right. You're not you're not in this alone. We got tools in, in the scriptures to help us to get through things, man. That's right. All right. Prayer, fasting. The Lord wants you to pick up the slack. If you if you're going through a lot of crap, man, you gotta learn to use the the, the weapons that the Lord gave you, like prayer, fasting, talk to other brothers, listen to the videos, you know. Go ahead, bro. The book of Hebrews. Chapter 2, verse 18, it says, For in that he himself have suffered being tempted, he is able to succor, succor, huh? succor. succor them that are tempted. And that word succor means to help. All right? So the, the brother was just saying, uh, you know, you got the brothers. You know what I'm saying? You being tempted with something. That's why it's good to be open with your brothers, man. All right? It's good to talk to your, to your, uh, your brothers and your camp leaders too, and being honest with them. Because sometimes brothers get a, a shame face about stuff that they're going through, or maybe they they went back and did something they weren't supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And brothers had that, that point of uh, embarrassment sometimes. All right, but we all fall short, man. But it's good to talk to your brothers about what you're going through because that brother probably been through that. All right, he probably already dealt with that temptation. So the, like the scripture said, he'd be able to help you. You know what I'm saying? Maneuver your way through it and encourage you. You know? Yeah. Because uh, the brother mentioned one of the synonyms was, was itch. <laughs> and it's uh, 2 Timothy 4 and 3. It said, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, mm -hmm. but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers mm -hmm. having itching ears. Meaning what? You want you desire or you're being tempted with other, other philosophies or other doctrines. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of sticking to the words of your how about shit me, I was shot at that's been laid before you by the way of apostles and elders and camp leaders and other brothers in, in the faith. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna have that itch like a crackhead had the itch. <laughs> when, when they need some dope, they be scratching and itching. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the same way in the faith, man. You have a lot of uh, spiritual crackheads out here, man. They'd be, they be designed and be untempted with all these other religions and doctrines. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I got scripture. Go ahead, bro. This is Matthews uh, 26 and 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. God, the flesh is weak, man. And I always refer back to Romans, the seventh chapter. Mm -hmm. Always. All right. 
I'm a, my, you gonna get that? Yep. Roma 7 and a, what, 14? Four, because the, 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 the spirit is willing, we wanna do right, but the flesh is weak, right? Right. It, 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 it wants to, it wants what it wants. The flesh wants what it wants, whether it be whatever it is that you want. <laughs> uh, it's in Romans 7 and 15. It said, for that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. For what I hate, that do I. He said that, that what I, I would. Yep. That, that, I, I, that's, that I not, man. The, the stuff that we want to do, we can't because this flesh it's really strong. It's letting you know right then and there this flesh is really it it it, 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 it takes it takes a lot to get over this flesh, man. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot to get over those lustly those lustful desires, man. It takes a lot. All right, come here, bro. It says uh verse 16. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then it is no more I that do it. But sin that dwelleth in me. So we were born into sin, man. That's right. All right. We, we was made to go off. All right. Right. We 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 not we not perfect. We we gonna go off, man. But can we get it right? Can we make up for our uh, transgressions? Can we defeat? Man, it, it, it's it's crazy, man. Like the flesh is so strong, man. Man, I can't really explain and put it in words right now. Verse the flesh eight. is so. Go ahead. Go Verse eighteen. For I know that in me, that is mm, in my it. flesh, dwelleth no good and, thing. And that's why, man, your flesh don't nothing in your body. There's nothing good about this flesh. Mm -hmm. Like nothing. Like we'll go off continually and don't even. Sometimes we don't even know we're going off. Whether in thought, whether in in in, in, in deed, whatever it is, we'll go off. And sometimes we'll catch ourselves after the moment. But like, dang, I went off. But that's 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 what separates us from the world. Because we know when we go off and we repent to the Lord and then we try to correct it. Alright? For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. Mm -hmm. For the it's, good man, man, that man. I would I do not, but the evil which I would not that I do. That's self-explanatory, man. We all don't went through that. We want to do right, but like like you'll see a woman, you will know she married, and you will still look at her. That flesh will make you like, ah, and then you have to repent. That flesh be, uh, rouse up. All right? And, and it can happen to anybody. Right. Nobody's mm -hmm. above this. But what separates us from the world is that we know, like, oh, no, I can't do this. And we correct ourselves right then and there. But that flesh wants what it wants, man. That's right. All right? right? And it's a constant battle yep. between the spirit and the flesh. It's a constant battle. Constant temptation. And we're going to come up into this, uh, the, the, go ahead, finish that. Man. Verse 20. Yeah. It said, now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Like I said, we was born in sin, so we're going to go off. We're going to do things that we're not supposed to do. Right? So we're going to do things. We're going we're gonna to go off. All right? Go ahead, dude. I think that was it. Or was there something else? Uh, let's see. I'm going to go over to Romans 8, verse 5. It said... For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Huh? Oh. Said so for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Uh -huh. So if your mind is on doing wickedness, that's what you're gonna go after, man. But if your mind is on the spirit, that's what you're gonna go after. But you know what? It's real important with that being said too, is what you're taking in. <coughs> Alright? Sometimes the music. And, and uh, mm -hmm. TV shows, mm -hmm. and, and even the company that you keep. Demonic. You know what I'm saying? And you, mm -hmm. you go around and people, and they got demons and stuff on, on us. That's true, bro. You, you taking that in. 
All right, so that flesh is good. That flesh, you you eventually gonna get weak. That's why the scriptures say, uh, <coughs> "Shall two walk together, lest they agree." All right, because you're gonna either one is gonna overtake the other one eventually. All right, so even with that, man, you know, but if you're doing the things that are after the spirit, then you walking in, you're gonna be constantly in the spirit. That's why brothers always push it in the videos. Constantly pray, constantly read your word, constantly watch videos. All right, so your mind be on spiritual things and not fleshly things. You know. Right. It says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Right, because the wages of sin is death. All right, right. so if you having a carnal mind to only do wickedness, hey, you're going you gonna to die, man. All right, people think that the Lord is not going to come and judge us, but it's coming. All right, people think because oh, I've been doing this for 20 years. Like you tell somebody, hey, man, smoke a bed for you. Well, we got to die for something. That's Jake's number one excuse. <laughs> well, we all got to die for something. But you knowing that smoking is bad, all right, and brother, and you, every, they time and chance happen to everybody, man. You've been warned, all right. It said Romans eight and seven, because the carnal mind is enmity against uh, Yahweh, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. <laughs> so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the heavenly Father. That's right. Man. Because you're chasing after your own lust. It's all about you. Right. All right. You can't make things about you. It's what I want. What my what, what I desire. Mm -hmm. And once you get into that mind frame, it's pretty much over with, man. All right. So we have to be mindful, and we always got to examine ourselves to make sure that make sure that we're in the spirit. Right. And I, and I I, I say this a lot. Um, if you in the spirit, you can prove everything by scripture. Yep. That's right, uh, man. Because a lot of people uh, say um, the spirit said this and the spirit said that, and, and it's their own emotions. You know? So we have to be mindful that the flesh, because the flesh will rise up, and our emotions, our emotions can get, can get the best of us a lot. Now, we can be tempted with a lot of BS. Mm -hmm. You know? So we have to be careful and mindful that we always be walking after the spirit. And when you're walking in the spirit, you can find it, you can you can filter what you're saying through the scriptures. That's right. Matter of fact, because oh, go ahead, bro. Because the flesh will make you think you're right. Mm -hmm. The flesh will make you think you're right. Oh yeah, that's the spirit. But it don't even be the spirit, it be the flesh. Because you don't let that thing fester and it didn't grow. So now your mind said it's all messed up. Now, to back y'all up, this is Romans 8 and 13. Therefore, if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify, meaning control or discipline, mm -hmm. the deeds of the body, ye shall live. So we gotta learn, we gotta get some self-control. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. Lord, when you, the word, when you're a disciple for the Lord, that means the key word is discipline. You have mm -hmm. to discipline yourself. All right? So if you're a disciple for the Lord, man, you have to discipline yourself from the things that you want and the things that the, that the scriptures are actually telling you to do. All right? And, it, and it's a hard walk. That's what that straight, that straight and narrow gate is a, when that straight gate is a position of difficulty. So you're going to be put, and that difficulty is, is, you battling yourself, you uh, 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 doing what's right regardless of the situation and circumstances mm -hmm. that you're in. Because Jacob's trouble is coming and that's the ultimate temptation. Because right, you're not going to be able to eat, you're not going to be able to buy food unless Esau Allow it. allows it. And you're going to have to really depend on the how about you have a shot, man. But how is Esau going to allow it? By the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. That's right. The RFID microchip. Oh, uh, you can't buy no groceries unless you get this chip. The down sure God. All those are gonna be the biggest temptations that we've ever been through. Mm -hmm. You gonna, might see your family starve or hungry. I ain't gonna say starve. You might see your family hungry. All right, and we know we love our families, and that's gonna hurt us. Are you gonna take the chip or are you gonna Really depend on your Habashi Shai to get you a meal. That's right. All right. Go ahead, bro. I want that Jane. I want a 12. 
This is James 1 and 12. Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. That's right, because we're going to be tempted through this whole walk, man. All right? So that crown of life, man, is the king. We're trying to receive that. All right? That's why the scriptures say, uh, he that endure from to the end, the same shall be saved, man. We're trying to endure to the end. We're trying to endure that temptation until the end, like the brother was just going to about the chip. All right? We, we, we praying now to build our faith up that we'll be able to endure those times, man. All right? The scriptures say Jacob's trouble is going to be like a time like no other on the earth, man. It'll be the worst time ever. All right? So we trying to build our faith up right now. That's why faith is, like the brother went into earlier, faith is a very important thing in this walk because we trying to build ourselves up now, man. Huh? Faith and prayer and fasting. Man. <laughs> you know? But, uh, but which Yahweh have promised to them that love him. That's right. How do you love the Lord? By following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, man. By shedding off that old man, putting off all that old bull crap that you used to do, all right, and coming to Yahweh, becoming a babe upon the him, learning everything new, following the law, changing your whole lifestyle, all right? Because once you come out of the world, man, you still got to shed a lot of stuff. You having all that stuff on you, man. You got to follow the law, statute, and commandment to the best of your ability, man. man you got to share everything. Everything. Man. That's right. That's right, man. Everything. Everything must go. That's right. Maybe even you. Scripture people say, if, uh, if any man is in your house, shy, he is a new creature. That's right. Old things are passed away and all things all, become new. All things. That's right. Words. That's all, right, all things. That's right, God. Like you a whole new creature. A so, a a yeah, so when you come to serve the Lord, man, if you're still doing dilly dally in, in the world, you need to check yourself. Because you got to realize if the Lord dealing with you or not. And that's a scary thing. Because the Lord will put you in a trick bag. Here, yeah, how you thinking that you're doing right just because you go out there on the highways and byways and you be fucked up. You still be jacked up. So we got to really, man, this thing, this, this walk ain't no easy thing, man. People take this for granted. But at the end, man, we got the kingdom, man. That's right. All right? It's way more than this, man. I, I, I look at this life like there's nothing now. That's right. This life ain't nothing. You look at your wife, your kids, you just be like, oh, okay, well, I love them, but I got something greater coming. All right. I appreciate that. It's uh, 2 John uh, 1 and 6. It says, and this is love, that we walk after his commandments, this is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. All right? So that's how you show you how about you shall you love him. And walking after his commandments, man. You know? Keeping what's in this book. That's right, baby. You're doing what it takes. Disciplining yourself. All right? right. You're going to get tempted, man. Yahweh Shah himself got tempted. That's right, baby. All right? When he went on his for little 40 days and 40 night fast, he was tempted. Hmm. Scripture say the servant is no greater than his mouth. Huh? <laughs> That's right. That's right, bro. So if he got tempted, what you think gonna happen to you? That's right. But how did he defeat the temptation with the word? Man? That's right, man. He beat, he defeated that temptation with the word. And that's how we got to do it. We got to go back. That's script. That's why the scripture say resist, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That's right. Mm -hmm. And, it, and then at the verse after this, it said, draw nigh unto him, and right. he'll draw nigh, uh, draw nigh to you. How about you know shot? And he'll draw nigh to you. Right. That's James 4 and 7. Mm -hmm. Can you I'll get somebody to get that real quick? Four and seven. James chapter 4, verse 7. It says, submit yourselves, therefore, to Yahweh. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. It says, draw, draw nigh to Yahweh, and he will draw nigh to you. It says, cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. So we got to draw night. I mean, people say, uh, resist the devil first. How you do that with the scriptures, following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your abilities. And then draw night to Yahweh Shemeshah, man. Praying, fasting, doing what it takes to get closer to the Yahweh Shemeshah, man. Right. All right. Some of us don't want to do what it takes. Jake just want the easy way out. Mm -hmm. They want the, they want the the, the the everything to fall into their lap, but they don't want to do no. They don't want to do nothing for it. You need gratification. That's right. 
immediate gratification. We gotta, we gotta work at this thing. All right. Let me go back in James and finish this. In James, just the book of James, chapter one, and go to thirteen. It says, "Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of your power." See, the Lord don't tempt you, man. That's right. See, That's go right. ahead. It says, uh, "For Yahweh cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man." See, so he don't tempt you with with, <laughs> with evil, man. That's right. Man. That's Satan that tempts you because why? You're giving over to your own lust and desires. That's man. right, brother. See what I'm saying? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh want nothing but what uh, peace and perfection and, and holiness, man. See what I'm saying? That's right. Go ahead, bro. It says, but every man that is tempted when he is drawn away, away of his own lust See, and enticed. Drawn away from what? The Lord. Mm -hmm. From his word. You're drawn away by your own lust when what? When you're enticed. See what I'm saying? Go ahead. It says, um, then when lust has conceived, which means desire, that's all. See, the church try to make it seem like lust is something just wicked and evil. No, lust just means desire, man. See what I'm saying? Because you don't want a pair of shoes. Does that mean that them pair of shoes is evil because you lusting after them shoes? No, it's just what you desire. You want them pair of shoes. That's all. It's not like you buying them shoes and worshiping yeah. as a god. That's when it becomes wicked and evil. But if you want a nice pair of looking shoes just to wear, to go with your clothes, then that's fine. Go ahead. It says, then when lust conceiveth, it bring forth sin. See, when it conceiveth like a woman giving birth to a baby, when she conceived men bringing forth their child, or, did, or you bring them, giving birth to that, that lust and desire, then what, bro? It says, it says, lust hath conceived, it, it bringing forth sin. See, it bring forth mm -hmm. sin. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, and sin, when it is finished, bring forth death. See, it bring forth death, like the brother mentioned earlier. The wages of sin is death. Right. Because why? You impregnate your own desires, wow. you know what I'm saying, by your thoughts. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Then, w what? Satan allow you to intermingle or have sex with that desire. By, even if it's a woman and you know she's married just because she looks so good to you you desire to have Tyrone wife then, Lord, then uh, Satan will always present a situation to where you and Tyrone wife is, is by yourself then next thing you know that seed is planted then next thing you know you're, you're conceiving or giving birth to what? adultery okay. which leads to what? death I'm to read this one out too. We're here, bro. This is James 1 and 22. It says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. Mm -hmm. So when you let yourself falling over to that lust, I, try, I like you not. You're not deceiving the Lord. You're deceiving yourself. Right. You got to do what the scripture say. You can't just hear what the scripture saying, man. That, hey, you, you being fake <coughs> to yourself. If right. the scripture's telling you, to, hey, we supposed to live this way, you got to live this way. All right? You're not deceiving nobody around you, and you're not deceiving the Heavenly Father, man. You're deceiving yourself. He says, but if any man is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding a natural face in the glass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because all you're doing is basically like looking at yourself in the mirror. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hell, you, you can lie to man, but you can't lie to the Lord. That's right. Brother Asher, hey, brother. Did you know that woman? No, I ain't know. I, I ain't know. I, knowing you lying, man. Mm -hmm. You know she was married, man. But it's too late now because you done popped her. So guess what? Destruction and, and, and judgment is coming towards you, man. You got the right to kill you. Man. You see what I'm saying? You done put yourself in this situation. Mm -hmm. And then wonder why you're getting jacked up. It ain't nobody fault but yours. So, see what I'm saying? Man, I cook, man, Jake want the easy way out, man. I'm telling you. They want to read these scriptures, and then they, but they don't want to do them. You know why? Because they hard. Right. But when you really submit yourself to the Lord and put off this world and put off what everybody else is doing, and you now now you become what they call the oddball. You doing doing you, you outside the box. Everybody is inside this box doing the same thing, and you outside this box. Right. So you have to work. Now you got you got. People looking at you like, why is you doing certain things? But the scriptures tell us to let our light shine. All 
Right? Once you let your light shine and they see why you're doing things and why things are happening, you become different, man. Yep. You are different. You are set apart from this. That's what the holy, that's what you are holy, man. Right. And Lord willing, I want to be I want to be holy, man. Right. I don't want to be like the rest of these people, man. Try, right, buddy. I don't be uh, 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 lost. Lord gave us this word, like uh, bro brought out a little early. Out of billions of people on these planet, man, he gave he he gave this word to to you. All right, he gave it to you. He gave you the breakdown. He, he gave you the understanding. So we gotta take that as a treasure, man. Yeah, That's a treasure, man. Yeah, appreciate yeah, to back you up. This is Luke chapter 6, verse 22. It said, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, uh, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. That's right, man. So, Lord, the world is not going to like you. Once you really get into this truth, man, you're not, you're not going to be liked of this world. That's right. And that's how you know it. Yep. That's how you know it. When you start, when you your friends list jump from a thousand to like ten. ten. <laughs> that's when you know, man. Like, man, look, I'm different from you motherfuckers, man. So we got to be in that man state. Because I don't have too many. I only got friends in the brotherhood, man. That's, that's, that's me it. Too. That's, that's it. That's it, man. I don't have no outside friends. And I used to have, when I was in the world, a lot of people that I, I used to talk to and, and call and deal with. I can count on my hand right now the people that I know in this world that I even uh, associate with. And I ain't talking about friends. I'm talking about I don't even talk to no more. Family members too. Yeah. Everybody got cut yeah. off. Because I, I got a mission, man. My mission is to put this word out. To wake up the hopefully, Lord willing, wake up some of the hopeful elect so we can get up out of here. Because I'm sick of this place, man. That's right. That's right, man. I'm sick of the, uh, I don't want to be tempted no more. I want to be in a kingdom where I'm not tempted with my own fleshly lusty, uh, lustful desires, man. That's right, right. Where I won't go off no more. Paradise. That's what I want. Right. I want paradise, man. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. Come. All right? Y'all got anything here? Yeah, you got something, Kadash? Uh, I the scripture say, lead us not into temptation, but uh, deliver us from, 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 from evil. evil. Yeah. You know? Because we're trying to deliver it up out of this place, man. Um, you know, it's it's, it's it's that time, man. It's coming quicker than we than what people think it is, too, man. Right. You're going to look around the corner. Jacob's Trouble going to be right here knocking on your door. And you're going to be wondering when them brothers was there trying to, trying to give you that word, man. <laughs> you know, right. hey. We got to hope the Lord deliver us from this evil, man. That's right. right. And pray that he deliver us from this thing and take us out of this old man state that everybody else is in, man. That's right, bro. Uh, scripture say judgment shall begin at the house of the Lord. So what is it is for everybody else, man? Mm. All right, in the house of the Lord is us who who are in the truth. All right, Israel, Israel man, that's right. So judgment gonna be, gonna begin with the people. Who, it's gonna be, begin with us, man. All right, so all these other people are, are, are nothing, nothing, man. All right, so we gotta we better get it right and get it tight. Mm. I got I got scripture. Mm. It's Galatians five and sixteen. This I say then. Say this I say then. Walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So, like the scriptures say, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Even though it's easier said than done. Man, that's the spirit I was just thinking of. I was just thinking. Well, say it. I was just thinking. <laughs> well, it. It, see? It's easier said than done. <laughs> it takes it takes practice, longevity. It takes. Reading, it takes fasting, it takes praying, it takes all that. But it, but it mainly takes your, one of your favorite words. This, no, this, oh no, this one's not my favorite faith. word. Faith, oh, yeah. See? faith, faith, yeah. faith, man. Faith and believing in what you're reading is, is what it is, man. Right. Because so, scriptures say faith comes by hearing of the word. Right. And if you're not in this word like you should be, you're gonna have. Uh, your faith is going to be little that's right and that's what brothers mess up at because they don't have no faith really so they they because they don't read enough they don't they're not putting enough work into these scriptures mm -hmm. oh yeah bro that's right 
It said, uh, I'm going to jump over to verse 25. It said it again. It said, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. And what is the spirit is talking about? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this Bible right here. Right. It's mm -hmm. truth. The words of Yahweh by Shem and Shai. That's the spirit. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So if you walk in that, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's right. Like we said, it's easier said than done because it's a constant battle. You know what I'm saying? You are your worst enemy. But you, when you live by this word, the Lord always show you signs, clues, give you gems and jewels on how to overcome them temptations, man. That's right. He'll give you wisdom. Right. But like we always say, the older you get, the more wiser you should be, man. Mm -hmm. you know, you're not supposed to have that childlike mentality when you're in his faith, in his truth, man. You're supposed to think like a king, rule like a king, have that king-like mentality, man. That's right. See what I'm saying? Your brothers got anything else? So with that, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopeful like brothers out there that's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. With that, a ba ba ba. A ba ba ba. Shalom. Shalom.